This is the first example of uh, a multimodal interface that is driving an application. There is a combination of an A tracker, we, here we are, one, two, three, four, five illuminators and a CCD camera, and an array of microphones that is uh, a prototype from Philips uh, for the, the speech recognition engine. Uh, the microphone is pre-trained uh, by Philips uh, and was developed for a consumer product. Uh, so right now it recognizes about 100 words uh, but are related uh, to the TV words. So uh, now I'm using uh, uh, a vocabulary that is not targeted uh, to that environment that, uh, that is a demonstrator of a PAX workstation that is a medical machine for doing radiological uh, analysis of images. I can uh, now log in uh, in the console, simply tell my name, channel 1. I insert my PIN code, simply looking to the numbers. I can choose the right patients. OK. And here we have uh, all the gallery of images related to that fashion. I can scroll vertically and horizontally, simply looking. It's a very natural task because I'm not aiming to control the scroll. Simply I'm looking to the images and the images are recentered. Step down. I can choose with classic and past with punch. Then I can analyze the image with blast. Here we have a a set of common functions that are common in a PAX workstation and I can activate them simply looking to the button or with a vocal shortcut. For example, for the zoom I can tell forward, forward, forward. The panning uh, is a very natural interaction technique because I'm not uh, again uh, trying to control the pan but I'm simply exploring the images. So. If I look at the point, the point is recentered for me in a natural way. Uh, in this way, the doctor don't have to uh, think about how to control the image. I can place mark, like bit. OK. OK. And fine-tune it with head movement. OK. I can take measure, rock. Measuring is a very extreme task. Off. OK. Softer. OK. Softer. OK. This is a bit extreme, but it's a good way to show that everything can be done without using hand with this technique. Uh, another bonus is the fact that Having here an A tracker, the tracker is constantly registering uh, the gates that I'm taking. So, for example, I can analyze the images with previous step up, classic, punch, blast. This is a mammography and uh, we know that uh, in uh, the United States, the average time for doing a, dyna a diagnosis on a mammography is about 20 seconds. So after a day of work, uh, probably the doctor is tired. And uh, we can furnish it a way for having uh, a feedback of what he gazed at also in an, an unconscious way, simply by telling, record. It can also be a way for training radiologists because uh, in this way we can look uh, in a concrete way uh, what the radiologist is looking at during the, di the diagnosis. And we also have a support of different and uh, uh, technique uh, that are the scan path analysis, for example. There is a lot of literature about uh, different scan path of expert radiologists versus novice radiologists or more fine-grained uh, analysis, like for example this more. This is a, a grid 
that are showing me the number of fixation, the longest fixation, the total fixation time, for uh, example, for having uh, the area that the radiologist is totally skipping, for example. And everything can be done with multiple images at the same time, previous. Sports. Sports. Okay. Classic. Punch. Classic. Punch. Blast. Channel 3. Classic. Punch. Volume. I can manipulate the images just looking to the right images and tell the command, for example, if I look here and I speak teach. Teach. Or if I look here, forward, forward, forward. Everything is based on the context. Off. Classic. Punch. Play. Stop. Forward. Forward. Off. Beat. OK. OK. OK.